Oftentimes, uh, when, when people are coming to us and asking for support or just general questions, we get uh, questions regarding how is it that, that Thin Manager knows uh, the identity of the actual terminal that it's connecting to when we've given it a name such as supervisor or operator or anything like that. How does it know which one is which? Well, I'm going to show you what that looks like. We're going to double click on the supervisor terminal and I'm going to go to the terminal configuration wizard once it opens up and then I click on next and you'll notice down here at the bottom uh, where the terminal ID and IP address are. Right now it has a terminal ID and that's the MAC address and there's either a clear button or an edit button. Now the clear button that's right here is grayed out Currently, I'm going to show you what that looks like when it's not, but it will remove the terminal ID identifier from the configuration of an inactive terminal only. It has to be inactive. Now, the MAC address of the terminal is used for the terminal ID. Clearing the terminal ID will free hardware that's already been tied to the configuration and allow for the terminal to be tied to a uh, different configuration without deleting everything that you've already set up. It'll also allow uh, the make and model of the hardware to be able to be changed too. Now, the edit button, on the other hand, the the edit button actually does a, a little bit different thing there. Um, basically selecting this button it'll it'll launch the edit terminal ID window and allows you to manually change the MAC address of the configuration and it allows you to do a replacement of an old terminal by entering in the MAC address of the replacement. Uh, also entering in the MAC address uh, allows the new terminal to boot and retrieve the configuration without selecting uh, the terminal from the list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power off so you guys can kind of see what those buttons look like. I'm going to power off uh, my actual terminal over here for the supervisor. And uh, let's see if I got it right. Yeah, there we go. It's going to power off. And now over here in the tree over here, you're going to see it's going to go red. So give it just one second and you'll see it go red. Now it's red. Now when I double click and open it back up, I have the clear button available for me or I have the edit button. Once again, if I go to edit, I've got the terminal ID and the secondary Mac if I wanted to put one in there or if I wanted to statically assign an IP address to it as well as I can. Uh, I can have those fields right there available for me if needed. Um, the other thing I can do, like we talked about a minute ago, is I can clear it. And if I clear it, I clear the terminal ID and any IP address and the reservation that it has. So I'm going to come up here to edit. I'm going to just do a copy real quick of this to make things a little bit easier. Click OK. I'm going to clear it. Say, yep, I've cleared it. Now you'll notice here that the terminal ID is set to none. But if I come back over here to the MAC address and I paste that information back in that I just removed and click OK, I IP address or the ID is turned back on and in there and it's ready to go. So if I click on finish and then come back over here and I power back up my thin, uh, thin client uh, that's called supervisor, the one that's associated with supervisor, it's going to boot back up without any problems. Um, it takes a little bit longer, so I'm not sure if I want to wait the whole time for you to see what's happening because I'm booting it up from uh, scratch because it's now an active terminal. It'll just take it a little bit longer, but that's how you would actually clear out a configuration for that so you could apply a different terminal to that configuration. For more tips and gems, please visit thinmanager.com.